This should come with a warning. This is a work of fiction. Do not take it literally. Content advisory contains verses descriptive for advocating suicide, incest, bestiality, sadomasochism, sexual activity in a violent context, murder, morbid violence, use of drugs or alcohol, homosexuality, voyeurism, revenge, undermining of authority figures, lawlessness, and human rights violations and atrocities. Exposure warning. Exposure to contents for extended periods of time or during formative years in children may cause delusions, hallucinations, decreased cognitive and objective reasoning abilities, and in extreme cases, pathological disorders, hatred, bigotry, and violence, including, but not limited to, fanaticism, murder, and genocide. But aside from that, it contains pearls of great wisdom. But it does take discretion. Okay. And... with the right attitude. It is the standard of morality and goodness. But it's those other things too. Anyway, just thought I'd throw that in because I just ran across uh, that. I wrote it many, many years ago and I I find it uh, uh, sort of juvenilishly uh, amusing still. I'm going to uh, uh, talk about two things today. Uh, it's Monday night, or it's uh, Monday morning, order of Monday morning. Um, but it's also the morning of Monday night magic class. Yes. Uh, when the pandemic first hit, uh, hit we abandoned our 40-some year uh, weekly magic uh, magic class in our home, then in Costa Mesa, and reluctantly put it on hold. Well, in that over th- three, almost four-year period, uh, much has happened. And uh, we moved to uh, Sacramento after being soft evicted by uh, uh, what we think, consider an unreasonably uh, uh, greedy real estate speculations. Ripped us up from our happy home. Uh, But am I bitter? Yeah, kind (laughs) of. Anyway. We, we moved here and they have been, uh, things have been sort of uh, up in the air and the pandemic continued for some time. So we tried to uh, uh, have a class that we even did outside uh, just the first few months we were, uh, we were here and uh, uh, we were outside. Uh, uh, still somebody came with COVID and uh, 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 infected others and uh, uh, that sort of uh, left a bad taste in our mouth for a while. But tonight we're starting up again, and hopefully we'll have a four-class uh, uh, four series on uh, uh, principles of Enochian, Enochian vision magic. Anyway, uh, uh, we, we are all RSVP'd uh, to overflowing uh, at the moment. But I'll let you know, uh, let you know how things go. But we're Constance and I are excited about uh, uh, revisiting that uh, kind of a golden era of our life, and we'd like to be able to share it if we could with uh, with others up here. Um, I want to talk just uh, just briefly 
about uh, uh, a little mystery that concerns uh, uh, earth and spirit. Now, let's see if I've got a... Here is a... This is, uh, you know, Crowley's Libra 777. It's one that I've, I've uh, used quite a bit over the, over the years. But uh, it's, a, it's a table, okay, based on, uh, on the Kabbalah. And um, it's a table that goes from zero all the way to uh, uh, 32. But then we see a thing that says 32 BIS and 31 BIS. Now those 32 are the 32 mysterious paths of wisdom of the Sefer Yetzira, which include first 10 is uh, the Sephiroth of the Tree of Life, and then the second 22 are the uh, Hebrew alphabet, tarot trumps, etc. But then we've got 31 and 32 seem to do double duty or have double associations with that. Now, uh, 31, okay, would be Trump uh, 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 'Universe' card, which is Saturn, Hebrew letter Tav, but you'll notice it also says Earth there. So the and fire is associated with Shin and the judgment card. Okay, now the reason I don't show spirit also on there is because it belongs there, certainly, at least uh, uh, traditionally speaking, it does belong there. So we've got Saturn Earth, Spirit, Fire, or She. Now the reason that I avoided putting the spirit symbol there is because there is also sort of an alternate way of looking at it that would assign, and uh, with great justification, spirit to the, the fool card that would make the Earth, Saturn, fool, spirit. That would uh, be the two zeros on either side of the manifestation of existence. Existence jumping into manifestation or from pre-existence and the zero into which manifested universe jumps back into pre-potentiality. That makes sense too. Okay. And uh, as a matter of fact, it makes uh, it made a lot of sense to Paul Foster Case, uh, who assigned spirit to the to the fool. But uh, here's a little something that I uh, that I wrote called "Musing on Earth," and uh, from the Hermetic Kabbalist point of view, the two tarot trumps must do cosmic double duty in order to accommodate the special elements of spirit and earth. The judgment card, or the Aeon card, key 20, is assigned to both elements, fire and spirit. The world card, or the universe, uh, key 21, is assigned both the element of earth and the planet Saturn. At first appearance, this may seem an arbitrary way of cramming the square peg of seven planets, 12 zodiac signs, and five elements into the round hole of 22 trumps and 22 letters of the Hebrew alphabet. 
But there really are compelling reasons why these aberrations make profound and important sense. As a matter of fact, the mystery of inserting this particular square peg into this particular round hole is nothing less than the secret of creation. Properly understood, it explains the special relationship that exists between spirit and earth. And why, for instance, the court card princesses or pages are called the thrones of the aces and all sorts of other cosmic goodies, like what the axioms as above, so below, Solve et Coagula, and Kether is in Malkuth, as Malkuth is in Kether, but after a different manner. What that is really about. But these are matters that occupy the minds and conversations of magicians and Kabbalists who always seem to have too much time on their hands and who are so focused on the elegant minutia of hermetic thought that they sadly become unfit company for the rest of us who would like to take a deep breath and live our lives rather than dissect them. If Trump 21, the world, is, among other things, Earth, then why does earth, then what does earth mean to me? Perhaps it's where I should start, because, has it not been said, seek earth, and heaven shall be added unto you. It's just like the, if earth and spirit are so uh, uh, totally linked, and and uh, need each other so much and spirit it seems so so vague and and abstract but earth is right in our noses okay <laughs> well <laughs> up our noses no earth we can see it okay so why not why not study why not meditate on why not uh, uh, make earth our study to study spirit? Be like, in order to understand God, study man. Okay, and then I, uh, from then on, I, I have an excerpt from my book uh, or from uh, Michael Greer's uh, book uh, on geomancy. I wrote a thing on earth. But I want to read uh, uh, something from that Crowley wrote. Uh, actually, he wrote it under the name Francis Bendick. And it just happens to be in the same equinox, equinox volume one, number six, where the seven rites of Eleusis are reproduced. As if, well, this might be the... Well, actually, we did uh, make a rite of earth that we uh, celebrated every, uh, every year after we did the whole seven cycles of the rites of Eleusis. But that's another story. Here is the earth. The child of miracle to the world, greeting. I reach my hands to the leaves and dabble in the dew. I sprinkle dew on you for kisses. I kneel down and hold the grass of the black earth to my bosom. I crush the earth to my lips as if it were a grape. And the wine of Demeter flushes my cheeks. They burn with joy of, of youth. Why should I greet the world? Because my heart is bursting with love for the world. Love, I say, why not lust? Is not lust strength and merriment in the, the famine that only the infinite can stay? 
And why do I call myself child of miracle? Because I've entered a second time into my mother's womb and I am born. Because to the knowledge of manhood has come the passion, even the folly of adolescence, and with all its pride and purity. It is for this you see me lying on the thick, wet grass, unquenchable, or rejoicing in the fat, black loam. Now the manner of the miracle was this. This is my favorite part. Okay. In the beginning is given to a youth the vision of his mate. This one must he henceforth seek blindly, and many are the enchantments and disenchantments. Through this his vision fades, even his hunger dies away, unless he indeed be elect. But in the end, it may be that God shall send him the other half of that token of paradise. Then, if he had kept the fire alight, perhaps with much false fuel, that fire shall instantly blaze and fill the temple of his soul. By its insistent energy, it shall destroy even the memory of all those marsh lights that came to greet it. And the priest shall bow down in the glory and grasp the altar with his hands and strike it with his forehead seven times. Now this altar is the earthen altar of Demeter. Then understanding all things by the light of that love, he shall know that this is love, that this is the soul of the earth, that this is fertility and understanding, the secret of De Demeter. Nay, even the oracle may speak in his heart and foretell or foreshadow greater mysteries of Persephone, of death, the daughter of love. These two, who are thus reborn, will understand that I who write these words am stretched on the wet earth on the day of spring. It is night, but only the sea whispers of Persephone, as stars intimate Urania, whose mystery is the third and beyond. My body is absorbed in the scent and touch, for the consuming fire of my sight has burned itself out to blindness, and my mouth is only the savior of an infinite kiss. Savor of an infinite kiss. The moisture burns my lips, my fingers search down about the roots of the grass, the life of earth itself is my life. I shall be glad to be buried in the earth. Let my body dissolve into hers, putrefy in her reviving limbic. He never loved who let them case in a coffin from the supreme embrace. It is from the earth, bride of the sun, that all bodily strength derives. It is no figure that Antaeus regained all of his force when he touched earth. It is no pedantry that the, the folly of the Hindus who, fearing bodily lust, isolate, isolate their acolytes from earth. No futility their doctrine of prana and of tamaguna. It is... It is not mere faith healing, this hygiene of Father Knepp, and his failures are those who retain decorum and melancholy, who follow the letter and not the spirit, cold-blooded treaders upon earth instead of passionate lovers of its strength. It is no accident of the mythology of the Titans made war upon the gods and in Prometheus 
overthrew them. It was when Canute failed to drive back the sea that his dynasty was lost to that Norman William who caught hold of Mother Earth with both hands. When I was a child, I fell. And the scars of the earth are on my forehead at this moment. When I was a boy, I was hurt by the explosion of a buried jar of gunpowder. And the scars of the earth are on my face at this hour. Since then, I have been a lover of the earth that wooed me thus roughly. Many a night I have slept on her naked breast in forest and on glacier, upon great plains and upon lonely crags, in heat and cold, fair weather and foul, and my blood is the blood of the earth. My life is hers, and she is a spark thrown off from the whirling brilliance of the sun. So do I know myself to be a spark of infinite God. Seek earth, and heaven shall be added unto you. Back to our mother, drive the shining spade into her womb, wrinkle her with your furrow, she will only smile more kindly. Let your sweat, the sweat of your toil, which is your passion, drip like benediction from on high upon her. She will render corn and wine. Also your wife shall be desirable in your eyes all the days of your life, and your children shall be strong and comely, and the blessing of the Most High shall be upon you. Then... Let your grasp relax in the satiety of death, and your weight shall cumber the earth, and the little children of the earth shall make merry with you until the rose strike its root into your breast. Then shall your body be one again with the mother, and your soul one with the father, as it is written in the book of the law. All this I have been taught by her whose purity and strength are as earth's, chosen before the foundation of time. Lioness with lion, may we walk by night among the ruins of great cities, when weary with happiness too great even for our immortality, we turn from the fragrance and fertility of earth. And at the sunrise, return where the peopled valleys call us, where bronzed and buoyant our children sing aloud as they drive home the spade. Glory be to the earth and to the sun and to the holy body and soul of man. And glory be to love and to the father of love, the secret unity of all things. Glory be to the shrine within the temple, and to the God within the shrine, to the word and to the silence that bore it unto him that is beyond the silence and the speech. Also thanksgiving in the highest for the gift of all these things, and for the maiden in whom all these things are found for the body and soul of man, and for the sun, and for the earth. Amen. Okay, that's our little talk about the sun, and my little blasphemous <laughs> Bible thing. Uh, anyway, that's it for today. I'm going to get ready for tonight's class. Wish me luck. Wish Constance luck because uh, we do these uh, uh, do these things together. She is my most ruthless heckler.
She's the class clown at the class. Okay. Until tomorrow, I'll have a full report. Continue to be good to yourself. Be good to each other. Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Love is the law. Love under will.